everybody. It's Gina with Archangel Art Studio and today I am doing something I haven't done before. A swipe. At least I don't think I've done one before. I know Billy's done them but I don't think I've ever tried one. So I'm gonna give it a whirl and I wanted to show you something. Um, if you don't use boards, if you use canvases, you can't really like set them on something like this because it pushes them up and distorts them. And I also don't like the way that when you put a lot of paint on it, it sinks in the middle sometimes. So I've tried the tighteners. I don't like them. They don't work in my opinion. Water, I've sprayed them with water. It tightens up more and it's free pretty much. But the best thing I found is this. I made this. It's just stiff, thick cardboard. You have to be very precise, cut it to fit right in here and cut a notch out. It makes it a lot easier to get out, trust me. And you don't like shove it all the way in there. You just put it to where it fits right inside the edge. Because if you push it in too far, it's gonna poke up all the way around. But you put it in and it helps support the canvas. You want to cut that notch out. Trust me, it's so much easier to get it out. And see, you've got a nice, tight canvas. And you can also set it on just one thing to support it, right in the middle, or a couple if you want. But anyway, that's my little tip for the day. Now, I am, like I said, I'm going to do a swipe, and I have some parchment paper. I tried to find some plastic to use, but I didn't have any, so I'm going to try this and see how it goes. And the colors I'm using are Arteza Papaya. I have no clue. Turquoise peacock color. Anita's Amethyst. Anita's white, metallic. This is a metallic. Well, they're all metallics, actually. That's what I chose, all metallics. And then some black. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos to try to fit. If you see all this powder on my shirt, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get silicone off a of painting. Um, I watched a lot of videos, and I saw the way people did swipes, and I didn't like them. I mean, I... I'm not saying that they're wrong. I just didn't personally care for them. So I am trying a different way today. May turn out totally awful. Maybe awesome. I don't know. But we shall see. So without further ado, let's get started. And yes, I know this is not the tradition of doing a swipe, but it's how I wanted to do it, so we'll see what happens. And I always tend to, to gravitate towards the same colors. I love the jewel tones, um, just the rich colors, and I really need to stop doing that and start using a more, a wider variety, I guess. But I just love the purples and the teals and the, the greens and the, the rich colors, the ruby reds, and uh, they're just lovely to me. Okay, well, let's give it a little more purple because it's pretty. And I hope this doesn't turn out a hot mess. And it very well may. And it may be beautiful. This papaya is rather pretty. I didn't think I would like it, but I do. And I'm hoping to get some sales. Oh, all my paint 
is mixed with floetrol and water. And that's it. And I swear I never want to use silicone again. It is such a pain to clean. I just cannot. I cleaned a whole piece, resined it, and it just was a mess everywhere. I had to sand it, re-clean it, throw cornstarch on it, let it sit. Ugh. Okay, so now I'm going to do the black across the top, but not a big, wide black. Um, because I don't want a big band at the top. I'm just doing a little. All right. There we go. Now let's see what happens. Well, I hope this works because, well, I don't have plastic. All I got is this paper. mess there. Some pretty colors here and hmm I don't really see a lot of action. So let's torch it. Torching all over, just hitting them spots. Look. Well, that's pretty neat. Oh, caught my glove. All right, now I'm going to tilt it. And move it and see if I can maybe stretch these cells out a little bit. What little bit of cells there are. But I didn't want silicone. Hmm. Okay, run. Doesn't want to stretch that way. Maybe I didn't use enough paint. I am so bad about, ooh, just lay my arm down in that paint. About either using way too much paint or not enough. I can't seem to find the happy medium. I know you can't see anything, sorry. I'm trying to tilt it enough to cover this little bottom spot it doesn't want to cover. Yeah, I'm going to say I didn't use quite enough paint. That's okay. We're going to make it work. Tilt it down this way, and while I'm letting it tilt, I'll cover these edges. I want it to run all the way to the top. This is not doing it. I don't have a lot of runoff, which leads me to believe I did not use enough paint. <laughs> oh, 
let's just knock it off. And this up here is where I wanted it to run, but it's just not running, so I'm gonna help it. All right. So now I got all my little places covered. Well, it's kind of funky, huh? I like it, but I don't like the, the big contrast there with the black and the, the colors. So, I know you can't see again. I'm letting it run this way for a little bit. And see what happens. Maybe get some of the black down further. And then tilt it back the other way. I'm not gonna, you know what, I lied. I have tried to swipe before. And I remember it now because I ended up doing a finger painting out of it, basically. It didn't work out like I wanted, and I put my hands all over it, and it just made a big old muddy mess. And I scraped it. So that's when I started watching the videos to try to see what I was doing wrong or what I could do differently. Hmm. much paint. Let's try the torch a little bit more. I like how you just hit it in spots and it sells up instead of torching the whole thing. Just not sure. So let's keep tilting and turning and I need my glove. If I had used a little more paint, I'd have more paint to play with here. I'm trying to seriously stretch what's not a lot to stretch. And make it run. It's not going to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it down. Hmm. I'd like to have a little more black in this area. And a little less white right here. But, can't exactly just make it move there, right? Although it is moving very slowly. Here's my other tip for the day. Make sure you use enough paint. <laughs> I'm sure you all already know that, but I am still fairly new to acrylic pouring so oh there's my air kicking on so you're gonna hear this loud noise it's so hot and humid today in the south and it's probably hot and humid several places i'm not a summer fan i love fall and spring those are my favorite times of the year and i can even deal with the winter you know, our winters in the south aren't usually that bad. We get some ice. We don't get a lot of snow. Nobody can drive. Everybody cleans the grocery store out of milk, bread, eggs, you know, if they call for a flurry. But I can't stand summer. 
I'm starting to like this a little bit more. Hmm. But I want some black up here where I touched it with the blue. I'm not crazy about that. So let me see if I can put a little black there. And I may make a big mess doing this, but I'm just going to put it on my finger try to dab a little because that just doesn't go to me. That didn't really help, did it? Oh. Okay, let's leave that alone before I make a mess. Because I'm kind of digging this. Where it's a little too dark, I can just hit it with my torch and pop some cells out, which is cool. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. It's 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 not exactly. No, I'm not going to leave it alone. Of course I'm not going to leave it alone. I don't want it so contrasting. So since I can't get it to run one way, I'll run it the other. And probably cover up all this pretty that I like at the bottom. I'm done. I quit. I'm gonna call this. Um, not sure if I like it or not. I do like a lot of the colors. I like the sails. I'll just have to think about it and I'll have to let it dry and see what it looks like. So there's my attempt at a swipe. I don't think it's a fail but I'm not sure if it's a win. But we'll see. I'll check it out when it's dry and show you the end result. So until then, we'll see ya. Okay, it's finished all the moving it's going to do and has tacked up. And you know I had to tilt it some more because I did not like the way it was looking. And oh my gosh, I'm glad I did because here it is. I love this. I love it. I absolutely love it. You may hate it. I love it. I love the cells. They're subtle, but they're there. I love the flow. I love the colors. I love everything about this piece. And like I said, I know it doesn't look anything like it looked when I turned the camera off, but I tilted and turned and slung the paint all over, I guess. I hit it with the torch some more. I got that black to break up some because it was just too dark. And there's the finished piece. And I'm happy with it. So let me know what you think. Comment, yay or nay. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe and smash that bell and be notified of 
all of our upcoming videos. We plan to do some giveaways soon. I'm not sure what. We have to get together and talk about that, but we're going to do something for everybody. We love your comments. We love that you watch our videos. We try to answer every comment we get. And thanks, guys. Later.